So, dear viewers, we have uh, with us the IGIZ founder, uh, Claude, with us uh, to give us uh, uh, his experience of uh, this uh, first year uh, annual event for the first time happening in Bangalore. Sir, uh, give us a flavor of uh, things that happen here for two days. It, I think this inaugural meeting of uh, India Global Innovation Connect mm. has gone very well. Okay. It has gone very well for three reasons okay the first reason is that we have established hmm. a good connection hmm. between startups and vcs and personalities from the ecosystem in india okay with some very interesting personalities vcs startup founders from many different countries hmm. like hmm. switzerland germany korea japan singapore the united states okay. israel right and so this is a first step toward expanding the interaction between these different ecosystems. Okay. The second element, which I think is very important, is that from the very beginning, we wanted to associate the notion of India ecosystem and global. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we have achieved the first step towards that goal. Okay. I think our discussions mm -hmm. and the participation have shown how today Bangalore is really putting its footprint on the map as the new emerging global hub for innovation and startup. I think the third point, which is also very important, is that many foreign participants had really a vague idea or a very limited idea of the tremendous changes, the dynamism, the momentum <laughs> which is going on in India and especially in this part of India, Karnataka. And I think many of them are going back with a lot of perception, a lot of food for thought, but what, in what way they can connect more, in what way they can synergize with the ecosystem which are building here and which are expanding here. Okay. So this is, of course, a first step. This is the inaugural meeting. And so we are already getting quite a number of lessons which will help us to expand mm. and improve for the second edition which will be in June 2023, again in Bangalore, because it is a Bangalore-based annual global event. Okay, so the point is that in the changed uh, global geopolitics and changed the technology environment uh, with Web not uh, three not O also uh, changing the perception. How you are finding uh, the talent pool available here and the scenario here will shape up the future. I think the talent pool here is quite remarkable. Many foreign people were discovering that. Mm -hmm. But I think what is also very important and which is a key important factor for success mm -hmm. is that we have seen over these two days how government in Karnataka, the academia, the business community are working hand in hand. This is a recipe for success. This is what has made Israel, Singapore, Switzerland in terms of technology, in terms of innovation, in terms of skills creation, some very good countries that are showing the way. And it is very, very encouraging that we see that this formula <laughs> is really being implemented in uh, Karnataka, <laughs> that there is a whole government infrastructure led by the chief minister who is really thinking in those terms. Mm -hmm. I think it is a big chance for the state of Karnataka. Okay. If I ask you specifically, if we compare India, China and US, in that geopolitics, how India will stand in this, uh, what you call, unique pole position and how he can emerge as a winner going forward? I think I think in this kind of comparison between China, India, the US, I think what is very interesting is that India is in fact creating its own model. I think it is an Indian model which is different from the Chinese model, 
which is different from the US model, but in a way which is showing now that it can bring tremendous results. Because as I said, mm -hmm. you have government support okay. at the central level and at the level of states okay. like Karnataka. This That's is right. where maybe this is the most advanced. You have also this element of dynamism, of big market, of leveraging, of fast adoption of technology. So what we see is because of this approach okay. to entrepreneurial spirit, entrepreneurship, yeah. startup creation, in a way it is different from the Chinese model, ah. it is different from the US model, and to some extent, I think India might be able to show how a gigantic, a giant country, which is almost a continent in itself, can do what small countries have been able to do because they were small. It is much easier when you are a small country like Singapore, like Israel, like Switzerland. I take this kind of example. But here we are talking about 1.3 billion people. Yeah. And I think it is very interesting to see if this model that India is beginning to create can be really expanded to the whole country, not just to some states, because then India will become a formidable force in terms of technology creation, in terms of innovation, in terms of startups creation. Okay. Thank you, Claude, for starting this very big journey this year in India from Bangalore. And it is really our honor and our pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir.